Okay, so we're going to go in and now and we're going to work on, I'm just going to show you one or two of these girls because I do all 14 of them. And once I get the effect that I like on the first one, I just copy the same thing to all the other girls. So it's, it's a little faster than just sitting in, in what you're going to see here in just a second. It's a little faster than that, but uh, I have to establish what I'm going to do first. So these are, they're all smart objects. So if you double click on the smart object, it's going to open into another file, an individual file that is a TIFF. So we have this girl right here and I'm going to start with her. So the first thing we're going to do, the first thing I usually like to do is go in real close and look for blemishes. Now she doesn't look like she has anything that needs any help. She's got a, just a few little ones here and I could go in and take care of those but I'll let it go because they're, they're not going to be noticeable. Also she has very nice bright white teeth so I'm not going to worry about those at this point. She is kind of shadowed up here and I want to really bring that out. So how I do that is going to, um, it's going to be a trial and error at the moment. Down here she's got some shadows. I'm not going to worry about those. Some of the girls are going to have those shadows that are going to be something I'll have to deal with. But in, in her case I think we're okay there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a curves layer adjustment and I'm going to target this area up here and I want to brighten it up especially in the eyes so I'm going to target that by clicking with my target adjustment tool and I'm just going to grab right here and push it up to kind of open that up a little bit and then what I'm going to do is come over here and double click and go into layer styles and I'm going to try this blend if on the underlying layer and I want it to only be in the shadowed area so I'm going to take this and bring it down and then I'm going to split it right here to let it kind of gradate into that area. So I've, I've got it pretty much where I want it, I think. Maybe a little bit more into the darker areas. And it's lightening up her eyes pretty good, but it's lightening up all this too. So what I'm going to do, let me go back to where I was. I like that kind of where it was. I'm going to click OK and then I've got this mask and I'm going to invert it to knock it out of everywhere. So Command I inverts it and then I'm going to come in here with my brush and we're going to see if I can just bring it in and I may have to bring the opacity down to make it look halfway decent. So I'm going to come here with my brush right here and I'm going to make sure it's a very soft brush so it's going to be zero opacity. I'm going to bring it down here, oh, not opacity, but zero hardness, and I'm going, to, I'm going to start painting in white. You can see it begin to lighten up in here a little bit, to lighten her eyes up. I kind of like it this way. I don't want it to be too overbearing, but I do want to just kind of open up these shadows a little bit. Maybe down here, we'll see. Not sure I want to keep that on their neck, but see how that that has brightened up her face. And if I take it on and off, it's basically just hitting those shadow areas. Now, if it's too much, if I back out here, if it's too much, I can always bring the opacity down to where it makes a little bit more sense. But I like that to lighten up that face, so it really brings it up without really making it too overbearing. So I mean, you could go in here and do some dodging, not dodging and burning, but do some uh, some clone stamp and that sort of thing. But I kind of like just lightening it up right there. Now the other thing I like to do is turn that that layer to luminosity, which means if there's any color shift after doing that, changing it to luminosity makes sure that there is no color shift and everything remains in the same color. A lot of times when you open up a shadow you may notice that if you don't have a lot of detail there that it will shift the shadows especially to kind of a brownish or yellowish color. And I always do that as a matter of, of just a, a, a way of, you know, just as a, a standard thing that I do. And it, it makes it so that if there is any color shift, even if I don't notice, that it, it eliminates that. So 
The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. I still want to brighten up her eyes a little bit. So what I'm going to do is lighten up the actual eyes themselves. And I have a couple of actions. And I have one that's to lighten the, uh, white, lighten the white eyes, the white part of the eyes. And that's up here under retouching. And it's called uh, whiten the eyes. So I'm going to just run that action. And basically all that does is it, it, it brings a color balance in here. And it doesn't do anything because it's all being masked. But when I come in here and I come in very close, I can come in here and just paint in that area, paint white, again with a fairly soft brush. And it's going to lighten that part of the eyes. Now I also like to lighten the eyes themselves. Excuse me. And I have a, a an iris action here to make the irises pop, but I don't want to make the irises pop necessarily. I guess I can try that and see what it looks like and see if it's going to, to make a, a big difference. So I come in here and again I'm painting off Oh yeah, it's way too way too light, but it does make them kind of jump off the page. And I don't want to get the iris ring, so I'm just going to come in here like this. And then I come in and she looks like voodoo eyes here, but then I bring it down to like 10% or something like that. So that's 51%. Let's make it 10%. And you turn it on and off. And I get the beach ball again here, so there we go. See, it just a tiny bit lightens it up. Well, I actually want it a little bit more than that, so I'm going to bring it up here. And I don't want it too much because I don't. I want it to look like her. So, all I really wanted to do here was make those eyes a little bit more, no, a little bit lighter. So, if I highlight these two, put them in a group, call it eyes, and turn it on and off. You can see that it's, I just wanted to lighten up her eyes so that they looked a little bit more bright and not so so dark. And I could have just done that by going in and you know in, in with another curves adjustment layer or something and lightening them up. But I, I like the way this works. So I've got that. And I may continue with that on the other girls and I may not. I'm not sure. But see it really lightens up those eyes I think. Now typically I would have already done blemishes. I'm not going to do any kind of frequency separation or anything like that. But I am going to come in now and do a, um, uh, some dodging and burning. And there's different ways to do dodging and burning. Um, Richard Sturdivant taught me how to do it with the, the history, art history, not art history brush, but the, uh, the history brush. Come in and do it that way with using a brush of multiply and screen for dodge and burn. But I, I kind of like, I wrote my own little action here for dodging and burning. And I like to do it with curves. And it's, it's not much different. It, all it does is it gives me a little bit of brightness and a little bit of darkness where I want to go. And then I just come into the places and accentuate the different areas. So I'm going to do that right now. And you can do dodging and burning however you want to. Notice that these are on luminosity uh, blend mode to make sure that we're going to come in and do it. It does have no color shift or anything like that. So I have my brush. Oops. I have my brush and it is fairly soft brush. It's on, I'm going to go with 10%. And I can go at, you know, up and down. I will go up and down. I want to accentuate these highlights in her hair. I think that makes them really pop. So I'm going to come in here and just kind of come in and brighten that a little bit. Same here. Brighten this a little bit. Right here. And just kind of hit these highlights in her hair. And I usually come around and do my dodging and then I come back and do my burning and sometimes that's I'll, I'll see that I need to do a little bit more dodging or something and I'll have to switch back and forth but I kind of like especially where the lights hitting here and here not much so much up there but really 
The idea of dodging and burning is, in my opinion, is to accentuate the highlights and accentuate the shadows to give it depth. So I'm not going to highlight these shadows because I really don't like them. I do like on her face here where we've got a little bit of sculpting, so I'm just going to hit those just a little bit. Right here in her eye, in her nose. Uh, I like to highlight the top of the eye there. We're going to come in here and I'm going to kind of brighten in here as well to kind of help open that up a little bit. And then in the neck, when you get some of these athletes that had a really buffed well and they have really muscles, it really makes them pop when you do this. So that's really about all I want to do. Sometimes I will come in here, actually I do want to come in here and do a little bit around the eyes and the mouth. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to increase it to like 20%. And I'm going to come in here and we're just going to highlight this on top of the eye right there just because that will make the eyes really pop a little bit. And then we're going to come in here and this area around the nose in here and then around the lips. Sometimes I go all the way around the lips like this and then I like to come in here where she's already got she's already got some glistening there so I'm not going to do too much on the lips but I like to kind of highlight some of the areas that make those lips look really like they are there has there is some depth there so I'm going to come down here what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to burning and I'm going to come here on the lips and we're going to come in here and just do a little bit of burning here, a little bit of burning there. And it gives that a little bit more of an in-depth look. A little bit of burning there, here. I'm also going to hit the nose up here, a little bit of burning under the nose right there. And it's going to give the nose a little bit more depth here, right there. Now I'm still at 20% so I have to be careful up here and I hit that a little too hard. So I'm going to go back to 10% we're going to come in here, get the bridge of the nose right there and probably a little bit down here. Just trying to give her a little depth on her cheeks here. With these shadows are I'm going to kind of fill in this right here a little bit so it's not so bright. There we go. And then I'm going to go back to the hair and we're going to go add some burning there. And we're going to go back to 20%. Or actually, we'll go back to 10% of the heat. Just make sure I don't get too bad. And these darker areas like this will make these highlights really pop out if you come in here and just make them a little bit darker. So this is just the way I do it. It doesn't make it the only way and you may disagree with what I'm doing and that's totally okay but for me it it really makes them jump off the page and it's time consuming no doubt about it this is the most time consuming part probably of the entire poster so if I come in here now and turn this on and off you can see the things that I've done and I think it kind of adds a little bit there. So now what I'm going to do is go, I'm going to go back to dodging and I'm going to come in here and do her uniform and then I'll do her, her her glove at the same time and then I'll come back and do her arms. So we're going to start with her uniform and we're going to do again we're going to do dodging so we're at 10 percent and I'm just going to come in here where these highlights are and I'm going to make sure that they're nice and, and white because I want them to really jump. So again, this is a little time consuming, but I think it really makes things pop. And I like to do it particularly on the banners. But I like to do it a lot with anything I'm doing for them. And I've had I've been <laughs> told by some of the or heard some of the girls talking amongst themselves saying that I like to put a tan on them and it's not necessarily a tan hopefully I've 
scale back a little bit. That just means I was a little too aggressive, I think, on some of it. But uh, the idea is to to just make the details really jump out at you. That's what this is for. And a little bit of the burning on or dodging and burning on the face. My objective is to make it, you know, make your her really pop and look really good. And I think that maybe in the past I have gone a little far with it and it does make it look like they've added a bit of a tan look to them. But they, the, the, the thing that the girl was saying, well, it wasn't negative. It was actually pretty positive. She was saying that it really, you know, he, he really puts a good tan on you. So um, I kind of took it as a compliment anyway, even though it wasn't the intention. Now when you get down here, you may see this and you may not think I'm doing anything but when I turn it on and off you're going to see how different it looks yeah so I learned this from Richard Sturdivant in his class I took back in 2010, or excuse me, 2016 at uh, Texas School and I don't think he does this anymore. I took his class again last year and we didn't even talk about dodging and burning and he still did a really awesome poster so I'm not sure he does this anymore but uh, I think that it just depends on what he's working on whether he feels like it needs it. Now I'm also, after I do this, we're going to do a a shadows and highlights layer which is going to bring out the detail even more and then we'll scale it back and we'll make a decision at that point whether it's too strong or not. So let me come over here. So he also had us back then we were using oil paint as well to add a little bit of a a softening look to them and I used that for a long time I don't necessarily do it anymore but I can add it at some points if I feel like that I need to I mean I, I, sometimes I just put it on there and then make a decision whether uh, it adds or not and a lot of times I I think it's not really adding a lot of value. So now these girls, whenever I extracted them, I didn't think their feet were going to be in the picture, but the feet of these girls, the seniors, are going to be in the picture. So I'm going to have to come back here probably and adjust this because you can see this shoestring is off of here and looks like part of her is missing here. So what I probably need to do is go in and take care of that and I'll do that here in just a second I just want to finish the dodging of the uniform and the shoes the shoes I don't normally get very good but I think that if I did they would really pop as well and it is part of the uniform so I really need to do a better job of doing the shoes you can see how some of the highlights really pop when I do that and then over here some of the times if I'm in a rush I don't do this part and it's simply because if there are so many of them I just depend on the shadows and highlights because it is a real good way of bringing out some of this detail as well but doing both of them makes it really pop and that, that's one of the ways that I can come in and and really be different than everybody else I think so now we're going to do the shadows so now I come in here and I think you can see the shadows probably a little bit better than you would see what I did on the highlights there. So it just depends on what part of the image I'm dealing with. So I'm just going to grab and do this. 
and like I said we'll go back after I do this and we'll do the glove and then I'll do her skin and then I'm going to go back and adjust those feet down there for the detail or excuse me for the extraction and so I can make sure that I get everything included because that's going to be it's going to be there it's going to it's going to be standing on a reflective surface I'm going to make it reflective and her feet are definitely going to be part of the image so I want to make that correction Okay, remember I'm only at 10% and you want to, it's much better to come in here and build it up than it is to lay it down too thick and then have to come back and get rid of it or have it look too over, overpowering. Now, one of the things I'm going to come back here and do you can see that this part really shines here because it's it's curvature and I didn't really get it very good with the highlights so I'm going to come back and, and hit that again with highlights here in just a second just to give it a little bit of a, a bump and here you can see this is a bit of a shadow so I'm going to hit it all the way like that and then in addition to these folds that I have here same here Okay. Again, you may not see anything happening here, and that's fair enough. But when I turn it on and off, you're going to see a big difference. And it's especially uh, especially makes a difference when you have athletes with their legs showing where you can see the muscles and see the difference in the guys with the big arms and that sort of thing so you can really make those muscles pop and the kids really like that okay almost done here So I'm only going to do one of these videos and I'm going to go ahead and go finish off everybody else. If there's anything I do different for any of the other girls, I'll be sure and mention that later on whenever we get back to the poster. But this is kind of the process and it's going to take me probably 45 minutes or longer for each girl. Hopefully not any longer than that because we've got 14 girls and I don't really want it to last so long. Okay, so now we're going to do the glove. Whoops. Actually, I said I was going to come back down here and hit these again. So let's go back with the dodge tool. And we're just going to come in here and add a little bit of brightness right here to add some depth. back up here and we're going to dodge this you can see that there are areas where it's getting hit with highlights and that's what we just want to accentuate here and I'm probably going to miss a few of them because there are so many but I just really want to hit the ones that are going to make it pop like this right here which kind of roll there and then right in here it's that with a shadow here in a minute right in here and then these areas like right there so That's pretty much it. Let's see. I'm going to hit this one a little bit right here. I'm 
Okay. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to dodge. Or burn, I mean. Right in here. Make it look like it's got a little bit of shadow right there. A little bit more shadow. And if you do it right next to these areas where there's highlights, it's really going to make it pop. Like right in here. Right there. So this is just, again, I keep saying this, but this is just the way I do it. This is my idea of how to make it look good. And if you think it's really weird, really crazy, then that's probably true. At least, you know, do it however it makes sense to you. Okay, so we come here. A little bit of burn right there. A little bit right there. A little bit right there. Give it that 3D look. A little bit of dimension. That's what I'm going for. Okay. Now I'm going to go back and dodge a little bit up here because I missed this. A little bit of highlight right there. Okay, right here. Okay, so I think that gets the glove pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is do her arms. And with the arms, or with especially arms and legs, you need to just see how, how it rolls. Like right here, there's a little bit of highlight there. There's definitely highlight right here. There's shadow right here on top, and that's what's going to make it look, have its depth. So I hit it right there with a little bit, hit it right here, a little bit of highlight, and then I can come back in here and just kind of burn it right there a little bit, and it gives it a little bit more of a rounded look. And then I'm going to do the same on the hand here. Go back to dodge. We're going to hit it right here. The hands, if you look at them, the lighter parts, I just make them a little bit lighter. This one is kind of shadowed a little bit, so um, if it's a lot of times you'll see veins in here, and those veins you'll want to hit one side with the highlight, and one side or one side with the dodge, one side with the burn, and it makes them really pop. So I'm gonna hit this a little bit right in here, along the side this highlight here, and I, I'm just trying to make it pop a little bit. So on top here, the knuckles are always a little bit darker. These knuckles up here are right raised, so a little underneath them gives them a little bit of darkness. And I hit them with the highlight a minute ago, so I think that looks pretty good. And now we're going to come over here, and we've got just a little bit of the finger here. <laughs> and we're going to come in here with highlight right in here, highlight right there, right here, and right here, a little bit right there. And usually a little bit up in here, but I'm going to leave that alone. And then we come in with the burn. We're going to burn a little bit around here, a little on the sh right there, and then a little bit right here, and a little here, and that should do it. And now I'm going to go, I like to dodge first. I'm not sure why, but I usually dodge first. We kind of come in here. Again, we have a little bit of a highlight right there. We come in here, we have some highlight here, a little bit of highlight there right there and then we're going to burn and burn on the edge here and underneath here right here a little bit a little bit right there give it a little bit of depth and that looks pretty good okay so now I've done everything for dodging and burning that I wanted to do at least I don't think I missed anything now if we look at it in total and I turn it off and on, you should see little bits all over the place. And I think it makes a big difference. And you can see most of it on the face and down here around her midsection really pop out. The shirt hopefully pops out a lot better too. You can see different areas, her arm, glove face and, and hair so it, it really looks pretty good I think but I am going to come down here and we are going to try to get her back in shape with her feet down here so what I want to do is I'm going to turn the mask off to see what I missed you can see that I missed 
this big circular here. A little bit right there with the shoestring. That's not too bad. And a little bit over here with the shoestring. So it's really just the shoestrings that I missed. Everything else looks pretty good. Now they're kind of rugged looking. So I'm going to soften that up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to paint with white down here on the mask to reveal this shoestring and then I'm going to I'm going to get a little bit more detailed. But first I just want to just kind of get an idea here and I'm going to need I need to go at 100%. That was only 10%. So I'm going to come in here. You can see there and then there's a little bit right there. Right in there. And then over here, I think there was a little bit right here. And that's pretty much all I need to deal with. So now this is, you can see I'm using a really soft brush and I probably want to use a hard brush to take that away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change my hardness on the brush to like 85%. Usually don't like to go to 100%. Then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to paint with black. And we're going to come in here and try to go around this as best I can. So, and it, you probably could get away with just cutting this shoelace off. Nobody would be the wiser, but just, it, it only takes a few minutes here to come in here and fix this. So, We're going to go ahead and do that. Hopefully, I won't have to do it on everybody. I'm not sure why I didn't take care of it here. I know on the other girls, I, I knew I didn't need to worry about it because their feet are not going to show, but hers are going to show. So I have to be a little bit more diligent here getting an entire image of her full body rather than just three quarter body which is basically what I'm getting with the girls the other girls okay I went a little bit far there so I'm going to come in and bring that back make my cursor a little smaller bring this back a little bit oops okay and then back again right here and then just a tiny bit right there get rid of this and Make my cursor smaller. Oops. Smaller, bring this back a little bit. There we go. And even smaller, and then we're going to just kind of dig in here. Kind of dig in here and get that a little bit. And then right here, same thing, just to make it look a little better. Okay, that should take care of that. Then we're going to come down here and kind of do the same thing with this. Going to have to. Uh, what I can do is use the old shift method and just because that's a straight line, but I missed it, so let's do it again. Right here, and then down here, we're going to do a straight line. There we go. And block it off. A lot smaller in here because I think once again straight line there we go so just a little meticulous work here to get this to look good and we'll have her feet looking good on this so there's a little bit of black there that there we go. Get that taken care of. Now over here I just noticed that this is missing a little bit. So I'm going to bring that back in. A little bit of the logo there I think will be good. So I'm going to straighten up the bottom part here. We're just going to come in here. Oops. Take a little bit off here. Make this look a little bit more normal for some shoes on artificial turf and actually she's going to be on like a glassy look floor 
because it's going to have the reflection in there. So that looks pretty good. So we come over here and let's do same thing over here. And I need to come in and get this off of here. There we go. Looking pretty good. There we go. A little bit smaller here and just come in here like this. And then I'm going to come over here and I don't know if that's part of the shoe or not. I'm going to assume it is at this point and just come right here and block it off like that. Bring this around here like this. And that should be pretty good. Now this, these adjustments don't have a feathered edge on them, but I think at this size it's not going to matter. We're at like 400% here. and when we get it actually in there in the poster we'll look at it and we get it back to see what it looks like but I don't think you're going to notice that it's not feathered it's going to fit just fine especially when you have the reflection underneath it here and everything okay so we have done this we've done the dodging and burning the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to try the shadows and highlights and the shadows and highlights needs to be done on a grouped layer. So I'm going to have to take this and do the command option shift E, which is the, whoops, I got to be in the right place up here, command shop option shift E. And I call it the merge stamp layer. I'm not sure the official name, but I think that's it. And then I'm going to turn all these others off because we don't need them anymore. And you don't want them doubled up because it's going to give you a funky looking halo around them and everything. So I turn all these others off and I'm going to call this shadows and highlights. And I'm going to make it a smart object. So I have a little shortcut for that. Okay, so there's a smart object. Then I'm going to come over here and we're going to do image, adjustments, shadows and highlights. Now this is the reason I did this at a smart object is because this is a destructive type adjustment. So this is the after, that's the before, and you can see it brightens her up quite a bit and it takes the highlights and really brings them up and takes the shadows up. So what I can do here is I can play around with these and this is the shadows and what this does is it it opens up the shadows. The more I open it up, you can see if I pull it up here, the more it opens up those shadows. So it just depends on how bright I want to get. Now those girls, if you look at the other poster, or the one that we're, we're looking at, the one that we're using for inspiration, they were very bright. So I may want to really make this very bright. We'll see. Now highlights, same thing. If you pull it up here, it darkens the highlights. So you have your, your two different tools here. Then you have midtones. And your midtone adjustment, you can bring it up. You can bring it down so you have all this in here and to me that this adds a little bit more contrast so do i want contrast how much contrast do i want and then how do I, do I want the color affected do i want the color to be changed much or do i want it to be dark or bright i don't want it to be very bright because i've already decided that i wanted it to be a little bit desaturated so i'm going to leave this actually at zero and leave it at the same color that it is here but I do want to, I think I want to bring up those highlights a little bit, or the, excuse me, open up the shadows a little bit. And the tone here is going to determine just how much is affected whenever you adjust this amount. And then the radius is how far around every pixel do you want to, to turn it up. So I can do this and it becomes very bright, which may, may be good. And then do I want the highlights to be darkened down a little bit? Now, eh, it depends on how grungy I want it to look, but I kind of like this the way it is. We turn it on and off, it goes from here to here. And look at all the detail that pops out at you. So I'm, I think I'm going to leave this. Now, if I want to use this setting on every one of the girls, I can do that. And each one of those girls were shot under the same conditions. But you did notice that the one girl was a little bit dark in the face. I, I like what this did though, so I'm going to actually going to save this and then I'm going to use it on the other girls and if I think that it's not 
doing the same great things that I think it's doing here, then I can always back it off or make a change. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this set and I can save it wherever I want to save it. In this case I'm going to save it in the same location as all of the girls extractions are just so that I have it. And I'm going to call it uh, RHS uh, Softball 2023. Notice the SHH for shadows and highlights. That's what the extension is. So I'm going to save it and then I'm going to say OK. Now it's in a smart object so I can always go back and make changes if I want to. So in all the girls it's going to be saved like that. So if we if we, you're going to see in a minute when I take it back to the poster what a big change we've made here. Now there's a couple of other things we can do and I'm not sure I want to do them in this case but we have a I have a grunge action that I really like that I got from Ben Shirk and I'm going to run it and you can run it at different at different um, amounts different different um, what's the word I'm looking for different different amounts I guess is good enough intensities different intensities you have 10 50 and 100 I'm gonna run it at 10 and I'm not sure it works on a smart object I don't think it does so I'm gonna try it though and see what it see if it tells me if it has a problem but what it does is it it gives you a couple of layers and yeah see it says yeah I don't think it can work on a smart object yeah yeah not currently available so I'm gonna have to go in here and delete all of these and I'm just gonna stop it right there so I'm gonna take that and we're going to delete these two and we're gonna start over so this is where I started so what I need to do though is copy it and then I'm going to rasterize it and after I rasterize it and then after I run the the effect I can then delete this and just use the effect that it applies you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second so now I'm going to run this again and it's going to run against that flattened copy because it, it makes copies of that and it uses it okay you can see here so I'm going to put these in a folder and I'm going to call it intensify okay so if I take this and turn it off you can see what it does it adds a lot of contrast and I really like that look so if you come in here and look see how detailed now all of this stuff is if I turn it off it's pretty soft and maybe I you know maybe I want to leave it off of the skin or leave it off the hair or something like that but I really like it it makes a copy of this so I need to turn this off actually I can't because it has blend modes against that so I can't do that but that's okay now you can also come in here and notice this is on soft light this is on normal I can always come in here and turn these up and down so if I don't like the intensity or the depth there I can turn it way down and it makes a big change so in fact if I turn that off you can see what that that particular layer does if I turn this one off you can see what that does look at the eyes see how it brightens the eyes there I really like that but it may be too much so I can always bring it down something like that I can always bring the depth down or I could put them both together and just bring the entire folder down bring them both the same but I, I tend to like everything at a hundred percent and if I don't if I decide I don't like that like I said I can always bring it down but I really think I like that it, it adds a little bit of a desaturated look already on that as well so we're gonna stop right here I think this is what I want so basically the dodge and burn the shadows and highlights and then the intensify at 10 percent so if I save this now save it and take it back take us back into the poster you're gonna see what a change 
we have made. So, so here we are in the poster. And if I come in here to history, we can always go back to before and after. So that's before and that's after. See how much brighter she is. Now that we were looking for much brighter because these girls are much brighter but maybe not so much on the skin. So I could take that a little bit off the skin but I think I'm going to go ahead and run this on all the girls and I can always go back and do like I said always go back and make adjustments because it's a smart object and that's that. I'm not going to bore you with going through 14 of these um, on this video. I just wanted you to see the one and the next thing we will do is you will see this effect applied to all of them and I will also mention when I come back any changes, anything different I decided to do. So because this is taking a lot of color out of their skin, I may not like it that way, but I think it's as far as for a, a an athlete, I think it looks really good. So I will I will leave it at that and next after I do all this on the girls, we will probably either look at blending them into the background, which is that really the next step. Or we, if I hear back from the coach, we will add or take away girls up here. Or we will change the schedule down here to make sense. So one of those things will come. Oh, I need to add the, the floor down here and also to grade 8 against these girls so that they're not on the floor along with the, the, the seniors. Because the seniors are what it's all about. This, it's always a big deal for the seniors to pop out. And this is the way we're going to do it. Okay? So we'll see you then.